Happy Friday, friends. I hope that your week has gone fabulous. This is our friendly reminder about our connected study on prayer. Thanks for making it this far in our weekly devotion. Today, we're five days in and only have two days to go. Come on, we can finish this. If you haven't started or have fallen behind, that's okay also. You can either jump right in where we are today or take a few minutes and read the past couple of days and get caught up. Either way, you can do this. To end the week, we're going to talk about remaining grateful and the inner peace that will bring you. We're going to talk about <clears throat> praying for others and how that brings us to the front line in their lives. And finally, we're going to talk about the big elephant in the room when it comes to praying, unanswered prayers. When we don't get the answer we want from God, Instead of our first response being, why did you let this happen? Let's begin asking, how are you going to use this? Let's learn to change the why to how. I hope you've learned some foundations of prayer and that you come out of this week feeling like prayer is less intimidating for you. My prayer for you coming out of this is that you would think of prayer as an ongoing conversation with God that continues throughout the day. Prayer is not about rubbing the magic lamp and having God pop out as a genie to grant all of our wishes. As we close out the week, I would encourage you to remember that when life is rough, pray. And when life is great, pray. I love what Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 tells us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This is one of the first verses that I memorized and will think of it frequently when I start to feel the anxiousness creeping in. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The peace of God will guard my heart and mind. God is with us and God is for us. Next week, Pastor Tracy is going to kick off our Connected Weekly Study, and we'll be learning about how God is bigger than our current story. You can get all the details at southpointforyou.com connected. Have a great weekend, and thanks for reading along with me.